Hi Booktube, Lynette here and uh, happy 4th of July. Um, as you can probably tell and from previous videos then you know that I'm not in America um, but the reason I'm coming on at midnight on the 4th of July is because it's my birthday. So I decided what better way to spend my birthday than to try and read as much as I possibly can. So as the saying goes, you can't read all day if you don't start in the morning. Midnight is officially the start of the day, so I thought I would have a go at doing a 24-hour readathon, purely because it's my birthday. Um, I haven't started reading anything yet. Um, I just want to say I'm really sorry for the lighting. Um, I've just got my little side lamp on for now, um, because I don't want too much light. Um, I probably am going to have to go to sleep. Uh, at some point I have been awake um, for about 15 hours now so um, I am a bit tired so I really don't think I'm going to make a 24 hour readathon um, but I thought I'd give it a go so I'm probably going to have uh, about an hour or so now reading and then I will probably go to sleep for a couple of hours. My cats wake me up without fail between five and 6am every morning for breakfast so I'm sure that that wake up call will get me up and out of bed and start me reading again um, so I can probably have a good go at a 24 hour readathon and like I say I don't have to work on Monday because they've said I can still have the day off um, so yeah just need to decide what to read I haven't actually started anything um, I have a couple of choices um, I really, really uh, want to um, make a start on Rose Madder, which is uh, one of the books that I was hoping to read in July. This is one of my all-time favourite books, um, and it's about a woman who leaves her husband and what happens to her after that. Um, and I, I reread it and reread it. Um, I actually read it last November. Uh, it's been playing on my mind a lot recently. Um, so I thought I'd try and give it a go in July and pick it up and reread it. It's a bit big. Um, if I'm really going to start it now, um, only get her an hour done. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my, one of my other options, and this is because it's a really short one, is The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince by Robin Hobb. This is a short story set in the realm of the Elderlings. It's set pre the entire series that she has, but it's referred to a lot in the Tawny Man trilogy. You should really read it at the same time as you read the Tawny Man trilogy, but I didn't have a copy of it, so um, I didn't read it at that time. I do uh, at some point very soon want to get to the final trilogy in the series. Um, so I'm thinking that it's probably best to do that. It's quite short. If I only read for about an hour now, it would probably I'd probably get most of the way through it um if not all the way through it but I don't know I'm not sure um I think I'm just too tired to make up my mind really um I feel like the older I get the more sleep I actually need I swear by the time I retire I should be sleeping 23 hours out of 24 um but yes so that's another option and then because I am so tired um I was thinking that an ebook might be the way to go because at least then if I fall asleep while I'm reading it the ebook will save my page for me and no books will be damaged in the process anyway this is Fury of Persuasion it's the newest release by Corinne Callahan. she hasn't released a book for quite a few years now um, but this is the next instalment in her Scottish Dragons series um, she started off writing a series called the Night Fury series that was based in the USA and then she had a spin-off from there which was based in Scotland. Um, I believe the next book in her American series is out. It's either out at the end of July or it's the one that's due out in November but I know there is an American Dragons book due out. Um, I've missed these. Uh, I follow her on all her social media because I want to know when she's writing and releasing um, and I really do want to give this one a go. So I'm thinking that if I'm going to read until about one o'clock now, 
um, and then try and grab a couple of hours sleep. This is probably going to be an easy one to get into. Um, and like I say, if I fall asleep in the middle of reading, while it's going to hurt more if I drop the Kindle on my face, at least the Kindle saves my place in the book. Um, so yes, so those are my three options for now. Um, like I say, I'm not sure. Um, I probably won't do an update before I go to sleep. I've got myself set up with my little cosy, my, all my, just my cushions are just piled on my bed. I've got my blanket. But yes, so I'm rambling now. So I'm just going to go and start reading. Uh, good morning. Um, it's quarter past eight. I actually slept a bit longer than I intended to. Um, the cats did wake me and I did feed them. Um, but I decided to go back to sleep. So it's now quarter past eight. I did read for an hour last night before I went to sleep and I did what I said what I was going to do and I picked up Fury of Persuasion. Um, really enjoying it. Um, an hour in, I think I'm about 40% of the way through it. So it's not going to take me long to finish this morning. Um, our main characters, Viroth and Nicole, have met and they are learning about each other. Uh, Viroth obviously knows that Nicole is his forever mate and Nicole is still learning that some dragons are good. Um, so yeah, so I'm really enjoying it. Really, really glad to be back in this world. Uh, I have missed these dragons so much. Um, so looking forward to finishing this one this morning. Um, I think that'll be easily done in the next hour or so. Um, so I'm going to go off and see if I can find coffee and um, I think we've got some treats in the freezer, uh, some little pastry bits that I can pop in the oven for a breakfast birthday treat. So I'll talk to you all again a bit later when I finish this one and when I'm deciding what book I'm going to read next. Okay. okay, so it's now a couple of hours later. I've had a couple of cups of coffee and I've had some breakfast and I've been reading. Um, so I'm still reading through Fury of Persuasion and we've got to the first steamy scene, um, which I read through and enjoyed, as I always do. Corinne Callahan writes them really, really well. You get sucked into it and, um, well, yes. Uh, you can't help but root for the characters. Uh, they're really starting to fall for each other. It is love at first start, first sight, um, as it always is with these books. Um, but it's really enjoyable. Like I say, it's now quarter past ten. So I'm going to go and shower and put some clothes on instead of just my pyjamas because it's getting a bit sticky and sweaty here now in the UK. So I'll update you all again a bit later on. So I'm showered and dressed. I have just made myself some more coffee. Um, I might have included the B-roll um, showing you making that. 
um, and I'm going, I've, I've made my bed, so the cushions are all back where they're supposed to be, and I'm going to settle in to do some reading. Um, I've got my window open to try and let some fresh air, it's a bit sticky in here at the moment, um, hoping for a bit more rain later on today, hopefully to clear the air. Um, and yeah, just uh, going to settle in and read a bit more of Fury of Persuasion. I have just finished my first book of the readathon and it was um, Fury of Persuasion by Corinne Callahan. I've given it four stars. I've thoroughly enjoyed being back in this world um, and I'm loving it. Uh, I really want to go on and read more dragons now because she's not left it on a cliffhanger but uh, we've had a new pack introduced to us sadly with some tragedy mixed in. Um, and yes, I want to know where we go from here. I want to know what's going on. There's a whole underlying plot um, to these books. Yes, they are primarily romance novels, but there is this fantastic underlying plot of two different factions of dragons who want different things from the world that they inhabit. Uh, and I really, really want to carry on with that story and know what's going on. Um, so I'm really looking forward. There is another book due out at the end of July. I can't remember whether it's a Scottish pack or whether it's the USA pack um, but I know there's another one due out in November as well so I'm really looking forward to picking up those books as well and carrying on with the series. So now I have a choice. Do I carry on with uh, short stories and pick up uh, <clears throat> The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince by Robin Hobb or do I go for something a bit more meaty and go with Rose Matter by Stephen King? Um, really not sure. I might think about it for a minute. Uh, finish drinking my coffee and <laughs> I'm thinking about browsing my shelves a little bit. I've got a couple more um, books on my Kindle that I want to get to um, this month. Um, I have an ARC copy of Meet Me in London by Georgia Toffolo that I want to read this month because it's outstanding on NetGalley for a review and I really need to get that up um, and done because it released back in December and I downloaded it so thankfully I can still read it and review it but yeah um, my ratio of uh, books approved to books reviewed is not very good and I need to get it back up but yeah I just need to decide now what I'm going to read next so uh I think I probably am going to go with The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince because I just keep thinking about it I keep putting my hand on it um and I keep looking up at the gap that even though I've got the book in my hand I keep looking at the gap on my shelf where it usually lives so yeah I think I uh, might just get on with this one for a little while um 
and it's actually half past 12. Uh, my lunch is going to be ready. My mum um, is cooking a roast. I hate cooking roast. Um, I do it when I have to, so Mother's Day and my mum's birthday. Uh, and I might give her a hand on Christmas Day if she's cooking. But other than that, I hate doing a roast. I don't mind eating it, um, but I hate cooking it. So my mum is doing the roast for my birthday. Um, so I've got about another 40, 45 minutes to read so I can probably get a good chunk of the way through this. Um, okay, so it's quite a bit later on in the day. It's actually 10 to 5 in the afternoon now and I have just finished a few minutes ago The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince which is a prequel novel to the Tawny Man trilogy by Robin Hobb. Uh, this is actually an origin story um, in some ways of how the wit magic um, is feared and is um, not accepted in the six duchies. Um, so it was really quite interesting from that point of view. Um, really enjoyed the story, uh, really enjoyed the um, background and um, queen in waiting caution and king charger um, and also I really enjoyed the last page and I can't say anything more than that because it would give it away but I did really enjoy it it's taken me a couple of hours to read it um, in between the last clip and that I've actually had my dinner my roast cooked by my lovely mum um, I'll try and slot a picture of it in here as well um, I've had a glass of wine um, so I'm feeling quite happy and cheerful. I've had some chocolate that my brother dropped round to me. Um, so yeah, so I'm now trying to decide what to read next. My original plan was to pick up Rose Madder. Um, however, I don't really feel like I'm in the mood for it. Um, I kind of feel like in some ways um, I've read an entire fantasy novel uh, reading The Willful Princess. Um, albeit in a very very short form because it's only 159 pages um so i'm not really in the mood for something like this it's a bit heavy so i'm thinking um that i might go back to my kindle um it's still got the cover of fear of persuasion on it at the moment um because i haven't started reading anything else but i'm thinking that i might go back to romance i've got some romance series on the go so I've got another Dragon Shifter series on the go by an author called Jessie Donovan. I'm a little bit behind with that. Um, I'm also way behind on a series by an author called Felicity Heaton. And I pretty much have all the books in the series. I'm just way behind and need to catch up. So I'm thinking I might go for something like that. Um, again, it would probably be something that I could finish today and maybe then start on a fourth book so possibly three finishes today um maybe four if i can really push it to midnight i'm feeling actually really quite good i haven't had a nap at all uh my mum has slept this afternoon and you wouldn't think that she was the one that stayed up to midnight last night to um start a readathon and then read for an hour um you wouldn't think it was me <laughs> so yeah so i'm feeling really quite good um, yeah, I just don't know what to read next. So I'll have a think on it. I'll probably pick something up in between. I probably won't update you until I've actually started reading it. Um, and I'll talk to you again a bit later on. <laughs>
as you can probably tell from the lighting, it's quite a bit later. It's 20 past nine at night. Um, I'm going to apologise if the camera's a bit wobbly, but I don't know if you can see that little chap there um, wants some love and affection. Uh, so he might be rubbing up against the tripod in my hand, trying to get me to make a fuss of him. Anyway, uh, like I say, as you can probably tell from the lighting, it's quite a bit later. It's been a while since I've updated you. I think I've had two glasses of Prosecco since I last updated you. So feeling a little bit tipsy right now, um, but it's my birthday and I don't have to work tomorrow. So why not? Um, anyway, I did, as I said, and I decided not to go with Rose Matter. I decided to look on Storygraph, which is a new app that I'm using to check my reading instead of using Goodreads. And it, they have a series of challenges on there that you can enter. And they have one that's called the Storygraph Onboarding Challenge. Uh, they have five challenges for you to meet within that section. Um, and one of those was a book that is in the mood that you read the least. So I had a look at that. Um, I can't remember which mood it was. But what came up for me was... Hudson by Laurelyn Page. This is a book four of her Fixed series, uh, which I read the Fixed series quite a few years ago now. Um, so this is along the same lines as E.L. James has done with uh, the Fifty Shades of Grey series and what um, Stephanie Meyer is doing with the Twilight series where the author has gone back and rewritten it from the main male character's point of view. Uh, like I say, I read the Fix series quite a few years ago now and I picked up Hudson at the time but I never actually got around to reading it so it's actually like I'm reading a brand new book um, whereas I found I did actually read Grey but Fifty Shades of Grey was quite fresh in my memory at that time and I didn't enjoy it and I've not invested in Darker or Freed either. Um, but this is like coming back to the series fresh. I don't really remember anything about the series from when I read it before. It is a romance series. It's a bit of a dark romance series, I think, because the main character, um, Hudson, as he's called, um, he has a bit of a checkered past and he has a history of playing with women and their affections as experiments. Um, and this is about him meeting a woman who challenges that. He's actually trying to recover from that and not do that anymore. Uh, but someone else in his life actually realises that he has an interest in this young woman and decides to make a game of her. Um, and he gets involved to try and control the game. Um, I think I've read about 80 pages so far. Uh, so I'm enjoying it. Um, like I say, it's like I've come back to it fresh uh, because I've not read Fixed for quite some years. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I've got just over two and a half hours left to the end of the readathon. Um, I've come back to bed. I've got re gotten ready for bed. I haven't taken my makeup off yet. Um, I'll do that a bit later. But I just thought I would sit on the bed and read for a little bit longer um, and see if I can push through until midnight. I'm starting to get really tired now. Um, I know I had some sleep. I know I had about six hours sleep last night. Um, but I am starting to get really tired now. I swear the older I get, the more sleep I need. Um, I think I said that right at the beginning of this vlog. <laughs> um, that I seem to need more sleep the older I get. Um, does anybody else feel that way? I'd be interested to know. Um, but yes, so I'm going to set the camera up um, and just film me sat reading for a little bit longer. And then I'll check in with you. Probably getting on nearer for midnight. What I want to try and do is, if I can't finish Hudson, what I want to do is actually tell you which books I've read, how many pages I've read. Um, and how many hours in total I've been reading for. So I'm looking forward to doing that right at the end of this vlog. So I'll see you all again a bit later.
Okay, uh, so it's just before midnight. Um, we're going out of the 4th of July. So it's coming to the end of my birthday isolation. Um, so I've been reading Hudson, as I said in my last update. Um, it's okay. Um, I'm kind of, I'm about 60% in now. Um, and a bit more of the story is coming back. It's a little bit disjointed in a way because it's, telling certain parts of the story from Hudson's point of view rather than actually the whole story uh, it's trying to condense three books into one um and I can't remember whether it's I don't know whether it's just this book or whether it was the the actual trilogy that was told from Elena's point of view um but it's leaning more on the erotica side of romance rather than just hot and steamy romance um and that was a thing that's always bothered me. I've, I've not really been into erotica. Um, I just, I need a bit more plot in my romances. Um, so yeah, so we're getting a bit more plot. Um, now I'm about 60% in. Um, more is happening between the couple. Yeah, I'm going to um, kind of record my reading time um, up to midnight. Um, and then I'm probably going to do an actual wrap up just to quickly go over what I've read um, probably tomorrow uh, and maybe just talk um, in stats a little bit. So like because I really don't have the ability to look at number of pages and things like that now. So uh, but I just want to come on and say good night um, and I, uh, I will if I will see you. In the next clip when hopefully I shall just be wrapping up the the day as a whole. Okay. okay, so it's now half past 11 on Monday the 5th of July. My birthday is well and truly over. The readathon is well and truly over. I've got myself a cup of coffee. Um, quite fittingly in my Marauder's Map mug because I've got my Hermione hair going on today. I cannot be bothered to straighten it. Um, and let's just wrap up the readathon. So I started three books in total. I finished two of those. The two that I finished were Fury of Persuasion by Corrine Callahan and The Willful Prince and The Piebald Princess by Robin Hobb. I have talked about them throughout the vlog. So if you want more information, then if you haven't watched it, then go back and watch it, please. Um, and I, I've enjoyed the two that I finished. Um, both solid four stars and would recommend them although with the Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince I would suggest you either read that before going into her Realm of the Elderling series or read it before you read the Tawny Man trilogy because it gives a lot more background um, and I just really really enjoyed it. Um, I slept for six and a half hours I was absolutely shattered uh, at midnight going into the 4th of July so I did uh, sleep for a little bit then um, I think if I was going to do this again, I would either split it into a 24 hours in 48 or I would go to bed early the night before and sleep up to midnight and then try and stay awake for, for 24 hours. Um, but I, there was just no way I could have stayed awake for 24 hours yesterday. I'd have been asleep by about six o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. So that's something I've learnt. Um, it was quite a last minute decision to do it on uh, Saturday evening. So... Um, yeah, so that's something I've learned for the future. Uh, I read for a total of eight and a half hours um, and read 591 pages. So I read roughly 69 pages an hour, um, which I think is quite good. Um, I usually read about a page a minute. Uh, like I say, I did some procrastinating. So when you add up when you take the time that I was sleeping and the time that I was reading away from 24, you're left with about nine hours where I was procrastinating, which means I was pretty much on Facebook or Instagram. So that's something about myself I've learnt is that I spend far too much time on Facebook and Instagram and I probably need to cut that back a bit. Um, yeah, but other than that, I did feel it was quite successful. Uh, I managed to get some nice B-roll of me making coffee and um, editing a YouTube video and getting it uploaded to YouTube uh, 
uh, which is actually going live on the day that I'm filming this. Um, this is going to be going live in a few days time after I filmed it. Um, so all in all, I felt it was a good success. It was a really nice way to spend my birthday when I'm in self-isolation. We'd had plans for my birthday. We were supposed to go out for breakfast and then I was supposed to go book shopping. That's all been pushed back a week um, so that I can do it once I come out of self-isolation, provided at no point do I um, start showing symptoms or um, test positive for COVID. So yes, yeah, so this is definitely something I'd consider doing again when I've got time off. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it in a hurry. I, I've got a week off in July, so but I've got plans for that whole week. So there's no way I'm going to do it then. Um, but yes, I've really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me on the readathon. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then please subscribe to the channel. I put videos up at 6.30 p.m. UK time every Monday with occasional bonuses like this one throughout the um, year. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.